Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video is one that I've been trying to film for so many days, so many days, but work has been hectic, life has been hectic, with the whole coronavirus, it's been hectic. Because I wanted to go ahead and film a full face, trying some, well not full face, I have some products, some items here that I've had that I have yet to try out. I wanted to go ahead and try them out on camera. So a few products I've come in, subscription boxes, some I've had for a while that I still have yet to try. Just a few products that I want to go ahead and try. Because I was still waiting to film this to go ahead and try it. So it's been a while, it's been a while. And like I said, I've been trying to film this video, trying. But today, finally, I can go ahead and sit down, which I was supposed to work today. But yesterday, they changed my schedule last minute, so I'm off today. But now I work for the next few days. I actually got my full time, have my full time this week. I might be doing overtime with the coronavirus thing. Yeah, because last week I definitely did overtime. So. I'm gonna take full advantage, full advantage to work as much as I can because who knows next time. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and dive on in with this video and just try a few products. So if you guys are interested in seeing how these products perform, the look I come up with, then go ahead and keep watching. So I've already done my brows, I've primed my lids and set them. So for this video, I have two palettes to work with. I have these two guys, which kind of work together because this is an all matte palette and this is an all shimmer palette, pretty much. So I have this Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Sweater Weather. This one I had gotten from Ipsy. So it's pretty much all mattes. So I thought I could work with this one, pair it with this guy, since this is from Miss Fame, Under My Skin. This is one I got from my Beautylish Lucky bag. It's all pretty much Marie. Really, really, really pretty. So I have not played with this guy on its own, but sometimes when I've gotten out of work, I've had an eye look and then all of a sudden I would just be curious, depending on what color I was wearing on my lids, I would go ahead and just dip into one and then just add a little bit and oh my goodness, it definitely amped up the look. So I wanted to actually go ahead and dive into this one specifically. But like I said, I think this guy, just one of the guys I had swatched definitely really 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 pretty yes that's a cream cake husband brought home some cream cake yesterday so I have to go ahead and try those two to have some other products so pretty much for this video everything is I guess high-end I guess you could say high-end they so do have some Ciate some more Dominique some Hourglass yeah pretty much high-end so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this guy. So this guy is kind of purple, and I know I've been doing a lot of purple looks lately, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and stay away from the purples. <laughs> try and do another look since I've been doing a lot of purples lately for someone who hated purple. <laughs> so I've zoomed you guys in a bit, getting a little bit closer. I did clean my brushes. I cleaned some of my brushes. I got some clean ones. So let's see, let's have sweater weather and fuzzy. So maybe I'll start with fuzzy, which is a little bit lighter and then work into sweater weather or we'll see. I think first I'm gonna start off with this one. Starting off a little bit lighter. No, oh, it's actually the same color as the tip of the brush. Pretty much the same color. It's powdery. some color but yeah it's a little bit powdery 
It's kind of powdery. So I guess now I will dive into sweater weather. into a little bit of a little bit of cuddle into a little bit of that one a little mauvey oh she's dusty <laughs> yeah it's really it's a very very light colors <laughs> Toasty. So I don't know if I dive into this guy, messy bun for the outer part. Just hope it doesn't translate purple. <laughs> That's powdery. It does translate to purple. jumping into a bigger mirror so I did go ahead and add a little bit of a glitter glue because this one does have a little bit of fallout I have noticed when I've just played with him but I'm looking here and I'm trying to see which color I dive into hmm. I, can, I think I can pretty much go with any because this one is kind of neutral so I can pretty much go with any color, which that one would probably work, but again, it's kind of in the purple family. So, because I have played a little bit, adapting on a little bit of the blues, blues, the green, we've done that one, the orange, we've done that one, which is amazing. I knew it was going to be. to the blue. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go into the blue guy here, blue foria. Yeah, this guy. Let's see. Hmm. I think so. So maybe start with the finger and then go ahead in with the brush.
I thought I would go ahead and do blue this time. I actually did wear blue yesterday as well. As I thought about yesterday filming. But, yeah, that didn't work out. I ended up working later hours. I got out later. And then food shopping with all this craziness. It's actually, this was just my regular food shopping, my regular monthly one. Had nothing to do with the... Nothing... Nothing to do with all this craziness, but I wanted to go ahead and do some shopping because everyone is buying up everything. They're stocking up and they're going to leave me with nothing. Which is what's sucking about the situation. Everyone is buying up everything, not leaving anything for the rest of us. Although the supermarket I did go to, it did have some empty shelves. It did have empty shelves, but they were still food. They were still food, so I was still able to shop. I actually went with my friend shopping as well. She needed to do some food shopping for herself. So I took her and she took advantage as well. They needed some stuff. Going back into this guy, the little so many cosmetics. Hmm. You can see <laughs> as soon as I start recording. So you can definitely see a difference with the outer corner. So I dove into this guy, Norgasm, Norgasm. This guy, really, really shimmery, but I went ahead and dusted off all the glitter, trying dusting, 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 and yeah, pretty much left with the color. Still see, do see a little bit of the shimmer, but not as bad. I just kind of wanted to deepen it up a little bit. And yeah, that works. You can see it. And yeah, that guy is still there. Two months and still strong. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish with the other one. Then I'm gonna go ahead and come back with foundation on. So blending here a little bit of my concealer because we do have a powder. We do have a powder. This is also another powder from a subscription. <laughs> so we have the Ciate London Everyday Vacay. So this one is Coconut Setting Powder. I had opened this guy and I didn't really smell coconut. I don't know if maybe Oh, got it all dirty already with all these dirty hands <laughs> kind of full of makeup so I did hear some good reviews on this although not, I don't really smell the coconut I've seen some people say they actually smell it some that don't slightly maybe <laughs> slightly so it kind of looks like a white powder. Hopefully it's not too white. So well, let me... I like to do that. All right. So here we have some powder. So I'm gonna blend this again. Make sure there's no creases. My little sponge. white in the inner corner because you 
usually with my big brush. I can't reach in there. So now to just use the rest for the rest of my face. Set the face. smelling it a little bit yeah as I'm applying it I can smell it a little bit hmm. it's a little vacay <laughs> I'll try to add here because usually make sure it's not tacky since I had that little, I was applying the bronzer, kind of got patchy here because I didn't fully set. Yeah, so I do kind of smell it a little bit. So we'll see. I think maybe I'll try this guy again out tomorrow when I head off to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some bronzer and then come back because I don't really have a new bronzer, but I do have some blushes. So I can be right back because I was here still looking on something on Instagram. My friend sent me there's this page on Instagram called Only in Dade, which is things that only happen here in Miami Dade County. Yeah. So spring break is in full swing here. So coronavirus or not, people are still, yeah, cause spring break kind of came early with school closings. So the beaches are packed. They're packed and I actually read somewhere that they're actually planning on closing down the beaches or at least sections of the beaches because yeah, that's a lot of people in one area so Still trying to contain it, but people still want to party. <laughs> yeah. So I dusted off my bake. And now I think I'm gonna go in with the lower lash line. Again, I cleaned my brush. Cleaned my little Sigma brush. So I think first I'm gonna start off with cuddle. A little bit of cuddle. And then dive into this guy, messy, messy bun messy bun. Dust off the glitter off of this guy. I want to see if maybe I can do it for this one. Cosmic Crush. Here the darker blue. See if I can do that one on the inner part. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's actually dark. turns purple <laughs> seriously <laughs> it kind of turns purple hmm. although it's nice that I can actually do that just tap it off and I can get kind of a matte shade <laughs> so now I discovered another way to use this guy. I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes off camera. So I'll be right back. All right, so I went in with my Urban Decay 24 seven glide on eye pencil in deep end for the waterline. Went in with that one. I did my wing liner with the ColourPop liquid liner 
BFF liquid liner and Grande, the brown one. I did those. I also did for the bottom lashes the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. I had done this one in Blue Your Mind, the blue one. Normally when I do blue looks, I like to do the blue mascara, which I did yesterday. I did do yesterday. And actually I forgot before continuing with the eyes, I did go ahead and curl them, add a little bit of mascara. But I did have new lashes to try. I had these Lily lashes that also came in a box. These were the style <laughs> of Gaia. I'm not sure if the one we can't pronounce. I've already added some glue to them, letting them dry, which I think I can go ahead and put them on. Yeah. I trim these, I kind of trim them quite a bit because the other ones I did not have the best of luck. So, yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see with this one. The inner corner. So size wise, I think I trimmed it well. Yeah, these don't seem as uncomfortable as the other ones. So with this one, I think I placed it a little bit high, so <laughs> I have to fix that. Kind of got glued a little bit higher. Yeah. Kind of glued a little bit higher than I would like. Try to grab the other one. Hopefully this one, because this one kind of, I don't know, it's a little bit straight. So hopefully this one gets on fine. See that one worked out. This one got placed a little bit better. Let's go ahead and try to fix the other one. <laughs> Alright, so I got them on. Took a little bit of finessing. Yeah, so apparently with these Lily lashes, it takes a little bit of work. But I got them on. Not as uncomfortable as the other ones. Because I know these and the other ones also had an Invisiband. Usually that means they're comfortable, but not always. So then jumping into a little bit of the face, I do have this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat. So we have this one I had gotten in a boxy charm, which I thought would be too light. That maybe would be too light it seemed like it it's really really light but I did go ahead and try it on my bare skin I tried it on my bare skin and it looks so cute I really did like it, it actually did show up so this guy would show up on my skin tone but I've only tried it on my bare skin just looked like a really nice flush of color <laughs> looks really nice so I want to go ahead and try this guy out on top of makeup top of makeup and then I also have this Ciate London, I think it's an illuminating blusher in the shade Pinch Me, which is another one I got from Scription. Oh, this guy is another one that's also really light, really light, but this one is more shimmery, so I thought since that one is kind of matte, I can go ahead and use this guy as a topper. Since it is light, I can just use him as a topper. So with this guy, since it is a little bit light, I like to go in with a more dense 
brush with blush. Blush brush. <laughs> so yeah, it actually does show up. Yeah, so it does show up. But again, I would have to say it's because of the brush. It's a little bit more dense. Yeah, it really gave me that nice flush of color when I didn't have any makeup on. I really, really liked it. It looks so cute. So I see it still definitely shows up on makeup. It still does look nice. Yeah. I am excited I decided to actually keep that and try it because it did show up on my skin. <laughs> yeah. So then again, like I said, with a shimmery blush, I like to go in with a fluffier brush. So diving into this one. a pinkier blush which I don't typically really go for but it still kind of goes it goes with the look since I do have a little bit out here a little bit of that pink it's cute I really do like blush I like blush a lot so I've got that and then diving into this guy from Domini Cosmetics the Prism Glow palette so another one I had received in so the Beautylish, Beautylish Lucky Bag, which was highlighter, a highlighter palette. Did bring one cream and then three other highlights. I was swatching it the other day to see which one I would dive into. So for now, I don't think I'm gonna go in with the cream. Not really too much into those type of products. Swatching each one, I did go ahead and swatch each one, but then I went ahead and swatched them also with a brush because these two seemed kind of deep. They seem kind of deep, but with a brush, it kind of worked out. Kind of worked out. This one is kind of a peachy highlight. But I think my favorite one would have been Pink Haze. So let's see for this look, I think I want to go in with. I think I want to go in with pink haze. So with a fluffier brush, let's see. A little bit glittery. Yeah. Hmm. It's a little bit glittery. Not into those kind of highlights. So the color is nice. It's kind of glittery. It's a good thing I went in with my cheeks first. Because that's glittery. Alright, um... I think I'm going to dive into another shade. So I think I'm going to dive into Fire Glow, kind of the peachier highlight. That's a little bit better. So yeah, it kind of translates a little bit golden. Maybe 
I'm gonna add a little bit to the brow bone. By going with that shade or trying to go into as many shades as I can. So I'm gonna go in with Golden Hour for the brow bone, the little Jacqueline brush. The one I was excited for is not my cup of tea, glittery, but I do like the other ones. I do like those. So I think for the inner corner, I'm going to go ahead and jump back into this palette. And my battery's dying. <laughs> Battery is dying. So I think I'm going to go in with this shade for the inner corner. See if I can do this. shift to a pink and we're dead all right so we're back we got a new battery so I went ahead added a little bit more I did with my finger <laughs> so I did that one it does have a pink shift to it it's really pretty so I did a little bit of setting spray just in the meantime I did a little bit of my glow recipe watermelon <laughs> I like all these watermelon glow ultra fine mist yeah I'm getting lower so now I think I'm gonna go in with lips I think for now the only lips I have are the Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipstick I had these two which had come in the mystery boxes I had restraint and mistletoe although obviously for this look I don't think mistletoe would match but like I said I do really like these kind of shades it's really pretty very very pretty so let's see what this one restraints it's kind of different as well <laughs> kind of different I'm very very different so I do have my lips moisturized with the Glow Recipe Lip Pop. I have this one. The other night I was actually in bed, I completely forgot to put on my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So I just reached over and I put some of that on. I still had some of it the next morning. So that was nice. Let's see with this guy. I don't know how this color would work with this look. bit sheer kind of have to go in and layer it edge at the top and I get a lot of product right there it kind of does go with the look hmm. interesting a different color hmm. kind of does go with the look very different yeah. So I'm going to add a little bit more. I bathe in it. So I think that will be it. 
Unless I want to do a little bit of a gloss. Uh, I wonder what gloss would go with this one. I don't really have anything color wise. Hmm. I'm trying to see one of the glosses from Jeffrey. So I have this one in succulent. Whoa. Actually, actually, that works out. It's actually pretty cool. Wow. So there you have now the completed look. <laughs> I like it and it's already on my teeth. Yeah, that's actually really cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right, so a little bit of a recap. I'm going to say, overall, I like the look. I really like the look. <laughs> I really like the lips. That combo was actually really, really nice. Different. So I like that. So I'll have to say this guy, powdery. Powdery is a lot of fallout, a lot of fallout. But it's actually really cute trying to stay away from the purples but it was really really nice I do know I really like this guy really really like this guy so I definitely want to keep playing with this one did not think I would like that guy as much but really like really like those shimmers like them a lot so I do actually really like these guys I like them a lot Quite a bit. I knew I was going to enjoy that. So for this guy, the Prism palette, <laughs> the shade I was really, really excited for because it did look really, really pretty. It was a pretty color, but it's glittery. It's glittery and I don't really like glittery highlights. So for the other ones, they're nice. They're just a little bit deeper this one is kind of gold you can see the gold there so I don't know how I would like that on my cheeks so I don't know I'm a little bit 50 50 on this one so I'm gonna try this guy out tomorrow again the Ciate London everyday vacay coconut setting powder I did get the whiff of the coconut while I was applying it but I don't really smell it now anymore so let's see. I have to see on a work day. To see on a work day to see if it's not too drying, because I know I've had some that are drying and they dry me out here. So I guess I'm gonna try that guy out tomorrow again, but kinda liked it. I liked it. The lashes actually. They're not that bad. I can feel them a little bit, but Definitely not like the other ones. Definitely not. Those I wanted to rip off immediately. So they were just a little bit tough to put on. But overall, I like it. I like the look. Especially like that I have my gray hair back, so this works out better. Definitely works out better. Alright you guys, so that will be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed me creating this fun little look. It was different than my normal purples I've been doing lately. That I'll go ahead and switch it up. So I do still have a few other products that are new again that I want to go ahead and try out. Another one. So 
that should be next up later on although I'll be working all these days so we'll see how my schedule is <laughs> yeah so if you guys enjoyed this please go ahead and give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video and I'll see you guys on the next one bye